Welcome back. My name is Danny Oaks and this is another lesson on power chords. So today I'm going to show you the three three of the really really popular ACDC chords. A lot of people use them. E5. We're going to go to D5 this time. So if I think of a regular D chord that is string 3 fret 2, string 2 fret 3, string 1 fret 2. So that would be a D chord regular. Campfire D chord. All right, if I only play the lowest two notes of that, that's just the middle two strings. Or if I play these three notes, that still gives me a D5. It's only when I add that first string, this F sharp note, that it becomes a D major chord or D minor chord. We'll get to that pretty soon too. All right. Anyways, we're going to go through these three chords, E5, play that once, and then you're going to go to D5. I I'm only use these two fingers, so finger one on string three, fret two, finger three here on string two, fret three. Uh, here I'm going to strum down, up, down on strings four, three, and two. And then I go to, I move my first finger one string toward the ceiling. Move my pick to strings five and four. And do that down, up, down again. When I put it together, I got that's E5, D5, A5. And then there's two different riffs. The first one is just going down an E minor pentatonic scale. So this is string one, fret three. String one, open. String two, fret three. String two, open. String three, fret two. And I bend it. And then let it come back. So when you bend a string, you're actually pulling the string toward the floor or pushing it toward the ceiling. Notice this, the note goes up no matter which direction I push it. All right, here we go. Let's go through all three of those again. So we got E5, D5, A5, two, three, and then this is. Take a little more practice if you're not used to lead guitar stuff like that. So it's just three zero on that string, three zero on this string, two bend, release, which is letting the bend come back to its natural position, and then you play the open third string. Then I go through those chords again E5, D5, A5. Here's the next fill. This is seven. So it's on the low E string, fret seven. And notice I'm using finger four. So if you remember what we talked about in previous lessons about position, I would call this fourth position. My first finger is on fret four. So fret one, fret two, fret three, fret four. All right, here's the pattern. I go seven with my fourth finger, four with my first finger. So it's seven, four. Then I go seven, five. 7-6, seven, and then 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, when I played the second 7, I gave that string some vibrato. B.B. Uh, King called that a waggle, waggle string. So anyways, uh, so you play that twice, and then shake it. Um, Angus Young has really fierce vibrato, so... Uh, definitely worth checking out the song. I would give it a listen. It's called Back in Black by ACDC. So three chords, D5, uh, E5, E is an elephant, five, D5, five, A5, five, and then the first riff is this. The second riff is this. And if you played that, you know, if you haven't played very many songs, uh, I think a lot of people would recognize that. It's a very cool guitar song, and it's not, we call that an easy song. It's not super complicated to play those three chords. Basically anything called a three chord song 
is pretty easy, but there are some very tricky parts in it. Um, and there's some very fast playing in it as well. So when you get into it a little bit more and you practice a little bit more, we'll, uh, we'll add some to that song later on down the road. So hope you enjoyed that lesson. Please like and subscribe and check out more lessons here. Uh, my name is Danny Oaks. I have been teaching guitar for a lot of years now. So if you enjoy, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.